So, uh, Gemini, so you might be in a space, right? It's almost like on some, the heart, absence make the heart grow fonder type of vibe. You feel me? So I'm not sure what you might have separated yourself from, but it was, it wasn't until after you separated yourself from it, you realized how important that was to you. And it's like, you realize just how much you were ignoring your inner voice or you declined the good emotions that you felt about the situation and you allowed yourself to taint your feelings about it. You feel me? So whether it was your insecurities talking to you about something or it's just a situation where, again, you might have just been through a bad situation regarding your emotions that put you in a space where you wasn't really fucking with people or you wasn't really trusting people on a deeper emotional level. And you kind of let that lead your life in the sense where now when you presented with an opportunity that is okay for you to submerge yourself in emotionally whether that be open up or just engage in a deeper emotional level it's almost like you let that hurt still guide you and you might have fucked some shit up that was it's like a blessing for you on some real shit that was kind of like the next step for your progression in regards to whatever you're passionate about whether it's the category of love or it's the category of a business venture or it's just the category of further expanding yourself in a certain characteristic trait that you find passion in. You feel me? If you were to do that, it would have opened up a new level for you or would have opened up a door that's already inside a door. But in this case, it's like you walk through the first door, but when it came to walking through the second door, because of an idea or concept that you believed in, you chose to close the second door. Now you might have to stay in that room a little longer before another door shows up. So now it's like you chose... Yeah, you could have passed the class, but you instead you chose to, I'm not sure why you just chose to throw the test, you feel me? You might have wanted to be the first motherfucker in the class done just so you get that title, you feel me? Just so you get the energy that come with being the first one done and everybody look at you, walk up to the one and hand your tests in. Motherfuckers is looking at you like, oh, wow. They're not looking at you in a positive light, like, oh, yeah, he did good or she did good on the test, you feel me? They're done first. No, they looking at you in a negative light. So yeah, you getting the attention, but now it's just like, damn, you you finished that quick. You might be yeah, having buddy failed. It's like everybody throwing, oh, he failed or she failed at you. Mind you, now that test was for the whole, for you to graduate to go to the next class. Because you did that willingly or because you moved like that, now you got to retake the whole class again. In the class, you it's like you was in that motherfucker with flying colors, but that test just so happened to be half your grade now you got to stay there longer you staying in that box longer and it's like a, a choice you made but it's like a choice you made when you were you weren't aware of yourself how you are aware of yourself now and you only aware of yourself because you made the choice to stay where you at whatever wherever whoever i'm not sure if you just again if you was dealing with a friend and it's almost like your friend, if we talking in terms of relationship, your friend saw this person, they realized that person was good for you, but you didn't realize how per how good that person was for you. So here your friend telling you, oh yeah, I'm gonna help you get them. They help you lose them type of vibe in whatever context we talking about. Now you so aware of yourself and the environment that you in, you done chose to be in now, you might not be associated with nobody's no more. You might be a little more to yourself ever since you realize how fake everyone is around you. Hey, you know what we talking about though, Joe?